Mentors and sponsors are going to be completely vital for your career progression. Stay tuned to understand how these relationships change and unfold over time, and most importantly, how to make them work really well for you. If this sounds good, subscribe to our channel and click that bell so that you never miss a video. So we know that both mentors and sponsors are going to be vital for your career success. And today I'm going to give you a top tip on how to find one of each. And at the end, I'm going to tell you the deadly secret, the five word question that you never want to ask a mentor. But here's the tricky bit. You actually need to know the answer in order to get their advocacy. I'm Dr. Suzanne Doyle Morris, founder of Inclusic, and I've been working with professional women on these issues for the last 15 years. So let's start with the big secret. While sponsors often start out as mentors, mentors rarely start off as sponsors. So what's the difference exactly? Well, sponsors, really importantly, they take a risk with their own credibility to give you a leg up. They'll recommend you, and they're rarely going to do that for someone that they don't know or haven't mentored. So first, get a mentor and then we'll look at getting a sponsor. So here's my top tip to get a mentor. Go for someone who's approachable and whose work overlaps with your own. Now, when I wrote my first book, Beyond the Boys Club, a senior leader in a law firm, he told me that at how his office was at the end of a hallway, but how many guys, some young bucks, would be often passing and say, you know what, I was just passing you. Well, unless they were planning on jumping out a 12th floor window, no one is ever passing this guy's office. He saw through them as trying to get to his time simply because he was senior. By comparison, he'd always give a bit more time for the office juniors who were working on projects with him, who at the end of their conversations may say something simple like, can I get your, your take on a situation I'm having? This meant he was approachable, but primarily for those who he had something in common. <laughs> so don't just approach the most senior person you know of, because that's really obvious and annoying to them. So my first question to you is, where did you find one of your first mentors? If you think back, they probably had nothing to do with the job that you've got now. They might have been a teacher a minister, a sports coach, or even a scout leader. Take a moment and write out their profession below in the comments so that we can give these people the amazing props that they deserve. <laughs> okay, so here's the chronology bit. You're rarely going to find a sponsor if that person hasn't acted as a mentor for you before. A sponsor who's never mentored you, well, they've got no skin in the game. So why should they go out on a limb and actively advocate on your behalf? So my top tip to find a sponsor, think about all the mentors you've had and focus on someone who's complemented the quality of your work, who works in a similar division, who's got clout in the company, or another tack is to identify someone who'd benefit if you moved up, perhaps to their team or join a project on which they're already working. Then turn them into a mentor first before you expect an ounce of advocacy. So they've got that beloved skin in the game and are invested in your success. So now I'm going to share that five word deadly question that I really never advise you to advise a mentor. And that is, Will you be my mentor? That question, while actually flattering, sounds like it could be a lot of work and may give your ideal mentor pause for thought before they agree. A better approach is to say, could I run something past you? Or I'm just curious about how you transitioned from X to Y. Could I buy you a cup of coffee and hear more? Once you've made that approach, you'll need to know exactly how to turn that person into a mentor. So luckily, I've created how to find a mentor in five steps. It's going to tell you just that. Now, I've given this advice to thousands of clients, and it's really the easiest way to start. So all you need to do to get that is click the link below and enter your email address. 
And if you love the topic of mentoring and coaching, but you haven't read, watched the rest of our other videos in this playlist, go and check that out. I'm going to link to it below. So I would love to know how many of you who have someone who's a sponsor who advocated on your behalf. If you've benefited this way, give me a sponsor power in the comments below. Good luck with your search for both mentors and sponsors and come back and let us know your success stories.